In today's show, we will be learning about basketball substate, avocation deadline, and our new segment called Meme Analysis. I'm Jessica, and I'll be letting you know about your announcements. And I'm Madison, and I'll be letting you know about your sports announcements. A few application due dates are coming up. We go over to Allie to learn more about it. Hey, Vikes. I'm here with Miss Ross to talk about some of the scholarships available to Seaman students. So what are those? There are a lot of scholarships mm -hmm. that are available to Seaman High School students, and some of them are only available to Seaman High School students. For example, we have a new scholarship. It's called the Amy Lovell Scholarship, and it's available to Seaman High School students who would like to study el elementary education. And if you're interested in that, you ought to see me as soon as possible because that's a renewable scholarship for up to four years. Um, if you are of Latino descent and live in Shawnee County, LULAC has a scholarship available for you. Uh, if you're interested in political science as a major or communications, then the Kansas uh, County clerks have a scholarship available. And then there are many, many more scholarships based on where you wanna study and what you wanna study, and maybe even what hand you're right with. <laughs> How can students apply for these? The easiest way to apply is to go to the Seaman High School webpage and look under guidance on the tab, go down to scholarships, and look at the scholarship web uh, that are listed there. There is a link to the application for every scholarship listed on that page. Okay. Awesome. Make sure and check those out. Now back to your anchors. Shawnee County Parks and Recreation needs volunteers for its Kids Night Out program. For more information, please contact Daniel Figs. Students, make sure to buckle up when driving. The Sheriff's Office is cracking down on unsafe drivers. Students, make sure you update your MacBook Air operating systems. Congrats to Caden Fox for becoming 2019-2020 State Vice President for Corporate Relations and Finance. Let's head on over to Madison for our sports announcements. Basketball Substate is coming up. Let's go learn more about it. Basketball Substate is coming up. We went around and talked to some coaches and players about it. Let's go check it out. I feel really good about Substate. You know, we're playing our best basketball this time of year, so we're going in the Substate on a high note, and we play a opponent we're familiar with in Emporia, and we're just going to take it one day at a time, and one game at a time. I'm super excited about our Substate this year. Um, we've gotten a pool where, with teams that we have beat. Finished the regular season fairly strong. We've got some momentum. Uh, but knowing that we're now at the point in time where you have to win to stay alive and advance, uh, it adds some pressure and uh, we know that our upcoming opponent, St. Thomas Aquinas, is an outstanding team. So we'll have a, a real challenge for the first round of Substate. I'm feeling very confident about Substate. Obviously for the class 2019, this is our last Substate and we were very successful last year and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to competing with my teammates and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. The last year we got beat in the first round of Substate. Uh, we didn't, obviously didn't play our best game, but I think last year we put too much pressure on ourselves going into the Substate game. You know, this year we're, we're confident, we're just gonna be, be relaxed and we're just gonna go out there and play our game. So last year we got ahead in our first Substate game by like 10 and we kind of let like stop playing as hard as we were at the beginning and let the team catch back up and I think this year you know if we get up we're going to get up at the beginning and really like keep the team down and hopefully stretch our lead. We hope to do the same thing we did last year at this point which is uh, win two Substate games and qualify for the state tournament. Actually, at this point in the season now it's win or, or go home. I think uh, to prepare for it, you know, just trusting your, your instincts, trusting, you know, your teammates and what we've been building on all year. We don't have to go out there and be somebody we're not. Um, like I said, I feel like we're playing our best basketball and you know, at this point of the year, um, you want to continue to do that to give yourself a chance. We're more spread out, drive, we have a lot of shooters. So I feel like we've adjusted things to fit our personnel and it took a while for the girls to catch on to what we're trying to do. 
We have been practicing really hard all year and I think these next two days are no exception. We're going to practice really hard and hopefully practice like we're going to play. We're going to do the same things that we've been doing all year long. Uh, just trying to make sure that we're keeping our timing and, and just reviewing all the different situations that could come up in a game situation. To spread the floor, try to take advantage of uh, our players' talents and abilities and kind of give them some more freedom to, to just play basketball and not be restricted by an offensive system. Being on the same mindset with your with my teammates and with the coaching staff and just trying to, you know, bring it every possession and just work hard and, you know, for that one common goal, trying to get a couple W's. Very confident. I'm very confident and I think everybody should come out and support the girls and the boys basketball team. I'm really confident that we're going to do well with this tournament. Like I said, these are teams that we've played this year. We know what they're doing and, you know, but we're not going to take them lightly and our We've been playing the best basketball we've been playing since the beginning of the year, and hopefully we can come out and win our sub-state games. Confident. Yeah, I never go into a game thinking we're going to lose. Uh, the team we have here, we have girls who are committed, they're excited, you know, they're playing great, you know, our team chemistry is great, and they really feel well off each other. This is probably the most uh, excited I've been about a team going into a sub-state and the end of the season as I am with our team this year. Aim this coming Wednesday on the 27th, we really need the students to come out and support us. You know, having that, that backing there is really going to help our girls play hard and it's almost like an extra five points a game. I really encourage the students to come out and support the girls. You should all come out and support the Vikings. You should all come out. I think it's going to be very fun. It's going to be a couple good games, so I'm very confident. Make sure to go and support your Vikes. On Wednesday, Kate and Charity will sign to bowl at Morningside College, and Cody Mashito will sign to bowl on Kansas Westland. Student Baseball is hosting a dodgeball tournament at SMS on Saturday, March 2nd. Any questions, email Coach Bush now. Cheerleading tryouts are on March 23rd from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. You can find more information on Schoology. See Mr. Cromie if you are interested in playing in Viking United Soccer. Let's head over to Josh to learn more about the weather. Good afternoon, Viking fans. We are looking at a small change to the forecast for tonight. The freezing rain potential is mainly focused over southeastern Kansas. Still can't rule out some freezing drizzle here in our neck of the woods. So maybe allow some extra time could be a thin layer of ice on your vehicles tomorrow morning however confidence not too great in this potential overall what we do have increasing confidence in is another snow chance here we snow again for this is for sunday so maybe late saturday night and then throughout the day on sunday it looks like some light to moderate snow could move across the state and on your SVTV 7A forecast, we're also tracking a warm-up before we get there. So check that out. Thursday, we get to freezing. Friday, up into the middle 40s, it might feel like a heat wave. And then, yeah, we're still tracking that Arctic blast with very cold weather. Lows could dip down below zero by next Monday morning. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. Jessica, have you heard about our new segment called Meme Analysis? No, I haven't. What's it about? Let's go check it out. Now this meme, this meme is very, it is pretty funny, okay? They have many different variations of this meme, such as Uganda Knuckles and Big Chungus combined. Very funny. What do you give this out of 10? I give this one... I give this one a solid seven, you know. This it's like it's like pretty good, but it's not like the. This one, you know, I give this one five chunguses. It's pretty good. Five chunguses, yes. Pretty good. Only two things I'm scared of. Six, nine. God first. And FBI. Oh, this man's gonna be locked up in prison for a long time. He's gonna get out when he's 69 years old. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, which is ironic. We got him. 69. Oh, 14. Oh. Coming in and destroying. This is a very yeah, iconic game. Iconic, you know. Swirl. Love that. I give that one a solid, you know. I don't know. That was, that's pretty good. Seven. 
Yeah, seven or eight. Seven pretty good. That was pretty good. I like seven that. Seven or eight, bro. Next meme. Okay. Roblox memes. These are a different breed of memes. These are its own breed, its own specimen. It's perfect. Okay. Now this meme, this is funny because if you want me to explain it to you, it's the Google logo, but he guessed Amazon. <laughs> Oh, TikTok. So <laughs> okay, I give this one. I give the Roblox memes a solid 7.5. I give the Roblox seven. memes, you know, a solid like 6, you know. It's in my heart, but you know, it's not like to the top. Last meme. Okay, now these ones. This is my favorite meme, okay? These are called the Flex Seal memes, okay? Now, if you haven't seen the Flex Seal memes, you are living, you are living in a box under the bridge, okay? These are pretty funny, okay? Now, this is a lot of damage, okay? Viewer discretion is advised. That's a lot of damage. How about a little more? <laughs> Let's see if it's gonna leak. Yep, it leaks. Yep, it leaks. <laughs> There's a hole in it. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's funny, but it makes sense. Uh, okay. I hope that you have enjoyed meme analysis. Hi, my name is Chase Johnson. You might know me from my famous Chili Feed commercial. We're not here to talk about that today. Today, we're here to talk about memes. If you like memes and you like the TV show, uh, hit me up on my Schoology or my email address. That's Chase Johnson at USD345students.com. And that's it. See ya. You were right. That was funny. Make sure to go support your bikes at Substate.